In this video, I'm going to show you how to build the dodecahedron. This is the most complex figure in your structuring streakahedrons kit. This is one of the elective patterns, so you only have one of these templates. If you want to build more dodecahedrons, instructions on how to take this net and transfer it to a blank sheet of paper are in your online instruction manual. What makes a dodecahedron so complex is it is 12 sided and each side is a pentagon. Then you can tell even on our net itself, there's a lot of cut lines, there's a lot of score lines, and there's these really tiny inside corners. If you want to build a dodecahedron, you'll need, of course, your pattern, you'll need tape, scissors, ruler, and a pen. The first thing that we will do is we're going to cut the net out. This one, be very patient while cutting. So again, we're cutting on all of the solid lines. And on the, these outside corners, you can extend past the corner. But when you get to this very narrow inside corner, just cut to the corner. Don't cut and try and turn. That's gonna, it's really gonna mess up this inside corner. So just cut around, work your way around, cut into the very tight little corner and pull away. And then continue working your way all the way around. This pattern is going to take you the longest to complete out of all the ones that we provide you. Once it's done being cut out, this is what you'll end up with. The next step is to score. To score, you'll need your ruler and your pen. None of these lines line up on one another. So you have to do each dotted line individually. So work your way around, running your ruler on each dotted line. Remember what scoring is doing, it is making it easier for us to fold the shape. Once you've worked your way all the way around, it'll look like this. Now we can begin assembling our dodecahedron. If you look at the net and your dodecahedron, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pentagons, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six pentagons. Imagine that we have the two hemispheres of the dodecahedron. This is a three dimensional shape. Here's one side, one pentagon, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So these six faces make one hemisphere. One, two, three, four, five, six. These faces make another hemisphere. First, we need to fold on all of our score lines. This is going to take some time. And these tiny little tabs are the trickiest ones it's because the tab gets so small right at this inside corner. So we'll fold all the way around.
And before we start putting it together, just make sure you've gone all the way around and every single score line has been folded. The best way to start taping this together is to work one hemisphere at a time. So we're going to work with starting with this pentagon and all the pentagons that, that attach to it, we're going to fold all of them in and tape them together. And we are going to put all the tabs on the outside. So let's start. We'll start working our way around. If you've built the pyramids already, you notice that we, on the pyramid, we didn't tape the entire face. We just started at this base connection here. We don't want to do that with the dodecahedron. You want to get the entire face taped all at once. Why? Because these faces are so small and this pattern is so complex. If you also notice, I'm ensuring that this edge gets inside this corner here that's been created by the face and the tab. Everything has to align just right in order for this to assemble well. So we have now completed one hemisphere of the dodecahedron. You can see it fits nicely right inside. So now we're going to build this hemisphere. And so let's start working our way around. If you're having a hard time holding it together, put tape on the tab first and then pull it onto the face. The reason why we want to work each hemisphere separately is that it doesn't close up the shape. It allows us to get our finger inside the shape here to get a nice tight edge. So now we have the two hemispheres of the dodecahedron built. Now let's begin closing it up. So to begin closing it up, we're just going to start working around the, around the figure. And this is going to be a little tricky because you want to get all the tabs on the outside. So we're going to have to do some nice creative bending here. So let's just, as soon as we get one that works, let's close it up. So here I'm putting the tape on the tab, tab only right now, and I'll bring it onto the face. And gradually work your way around. If you notice, I'm holding it a lot like a baseball. So I want to make sure that everything is nice and even. There's plenty to bring this tab out. Keep working my way around. Let's see, rotate around. Let's see, oh, before we do that, let's bring this tab out. Rotate around, we're getting there. Okay, now before we've got three more tabs to go, let me bring this tab up and over. There we go. And let's finish it off. Last one. And success. You have now built your dodecahedron.